Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Another piece of content, checking in with you today. We are here to look at the Tasmanian Tiger check-in extra large. Now, something I've been testing out for a while, I think I got this before Christmas, and it's another one of those, because I've been using it that much, um, I, it's kind of slipped to get some content out. So it's probably right that we get some content and check in on the check-in XL. I, I'll try not to do any more of those crappy dad jokes today. Uh, so as I usually do, I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look whilst I'm doing that. If at any point you do enjoy this content, even kind of maybe as a pity like for the stupid jokes, please feel free to hit the like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely amazing. If you do choose to do that, I really appreciate it. And I think at this point, it's only fair that I say thank you as well for doing that. But for now, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look. So as we usually do, we'll have a look at some measurements, we'll have a look at some materials, and then we'll, we'll check out the actual features of the bag itself. So measurements wise, it comes in at 280 millimeters by 210 millimeters by 105 millimeters deep. So it's a reasonably good size, um, and it's certainly larger than the usual type of crossbody bags that I looked at. Um, Certainly some of the ones that, I mean, I've, I've, I mention a lot, the um, the East Pack, the One Bag. It, it's a bag that I grab a lot. It's just a very small and convenient bag to be able to take places with you. Um, this one's a little bit bigger than that. However, it, it's definitely to its advantage because you're not just gonna be able to put your essentials in here. You can put your essentials and more if you're wanting to travel with this bag, which with the name check-in, you know, it's, it's certainly very good for traveling, um, but also on longer city breaks, it's great to be able to just put that extra addition in here to be able to carry with you. The materials on here, as this is a Tasmanian Tiger bag, um, you'll expect that all of the, um, uh, the materials to be top quality. So it's all 700D Cordura. Um, all of the zips, oh actually sorry, apart from this front panel, so this front panel uses a really nice, has quite a smooth feel to it, um, ripstop material, I hope you can see here where the, uh, the, 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 the ripstop support additionally is in there. Uh, all of the zips are RC YKK zips, um, all of the plastics on here are Wujin plastics, so it's exactly as you'd expect. Now there is, I suppose to point out the elephant in the room here, but on the front here it actually says Tatonka. Some of you may be aware, some of you might not be aware, but Tatonka and Tasmanian Tiger are, are, are one of the same. They are um, sibling companies, so um, if you've ever been curious about Tonka and the type of gear that they make but you've already owned several pieces of Tasmanian Tiger gear you can rest assured that you know you, you get the same quality between the two of them. Um, okay so I mean straight into the features because it's, 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 a, it's a very simple bag especially from the outside. So on the front here this front panel is completely clear um, other than you have the logo here at the top. Oh sorry I forgot to mention so this does come in two colours. This is the black version so the, the, the outside part or the Kodora part of this um, is black and then you have this grey panel here at the front but there is an, also an all grey version um, which in, rather than having black on the side it's, it's grey all around as well. Um, I, I opted for the black one. I, I thought that the uh, the difference between between the two was a was a nice subtle kind of uh, feature. So back to the front, we have this uh, clear panel. On this side, on this left hand side, there, there's nothing on here apart from the D ring, so that you can attach um, the strap, which we'll have a look at again in a moment. Uh, on the opposite side, rather than this being completely clear, there is uh, a small pocket which is Velcro closed for me. Being a dog walker, I make sure that I've got plenty of dog poo bags in there. Um, <clears throat> but certainly when I'm taking city breaks, I'll put snacks and skittles and stuff like that in there. Um, on the bottom, so there is something here on the bottom. Hopefully you can see. So we've got some, we've got some Velcro. Uh, this is the this is the the hook. No, this is the loop end of the Velcro, which at this point doesn't make much sense but that will become a little bit clearer when we have a look at some of the other features on the bag itself. 
Now, I'll go straight into these main compartments. There are some bits on the back, but we'll we'll have a look at those afterwards. So, your first one, you have two ambi open zips. They have this nice uh, paracord um, pull tabs on there, so it makes them very easy to open. It's not full clamshell, which I think again actually works in its favour mainly because if you do have anything in the bottom here, you've got a good no 60 millimeters before you get to the bottom. So if you're holding anything in there, it'll stop that from falling out. Here I have my little Helicon Tex uh, scratch and scrapes kit, um, but the on the inside of the of the flap here, there is there is a uh, a zipper. Now, at the moment, for me, I've just put a small knife in there just in case that's needed. But it does come with this pulp. So what you can do is, if you are maybe in the police, if you are a first responder, or uh, if you need to use this whilst doing something that's meant to be a little bit more undercover, you can put you can attach a panel to this, so whether you're, uh, like I say, police or medic or whatever it is, something may have hit the fan, you need to make sure that you can be seen over civilians, then you can pull this out and it, it will come out for you. Now, I did it there and I did it, I did it reasonably slowly, but if needs be, so that fits in here, and then this tab, there is a, there is a, a small pull tab to it here at the top, so it fits in, zips in, if needs be, you pull the tab, swing it under, and then you can go, you can do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can, you, so that you can be perfectly seen by other police, by other services. Not everybody's going to use this, so you can completely take it out if needs be, uh, and you can, yeah, you can, just, you can just put that to one side. I think maybe if you're a parent, that might be also be a good thing if you're out doing city breaks with your kids and you want to make sure that you can always be seen. Um, just something that you can pull out, have underneath there, and then maybe put a, a baby on board sticker on the front for laugh. But um, again, you know, that's there to make sure that you can be seen. Then on the inside, so on the left hand side here, there are a few different slots so that you can, they're almost kind of card size, um, but they're useful to be able to put, um, <clears throat> for me when I was using this, um, I've, I've been putting um, camera stuff in there. You've got some vertical ones on this side so that you can put in pens for organization. There are three, four slots here. Now, if you are in a situation where maybe you could use this um, for CCW, then you can easily put some magazines in here. And then there is another large zip pocket. Now, this zip, I've just, I've just closed it. <laughs> so this zip pocket does go all the way down to this bottom seam. I've got an Altoids tin in there at the moment with some stuff in it, but it's it's actually fleece lined as well, just in case you needed to attach something into there to make sure that it didn't move around, then it's fleece lined and you can add that there as well. So that's that's the front compartment. After that, you then have the larger main compartment, which is again it's got double ambi open zips. I'm just going to peel that forward so that we can see into here a little bit more. But again, you know, this uses the full 218 millimeters of depth um, and 210 millimeters across. At the moment, I've got just some books for when I was traveling. I've got some books to help my uh, mind keep keep uh, full and something for keeping notes there as well. But actually, if I take this off, <clears throat> Tasmanian Tiger have used their modular system with this. So the modular system um, is is a fully backed hook and loop panel. Now at this moment in time what I've done is if you have any of these modular inserts that you can you can add then obviously you can add those in because it, it's all hook and loop so it all just works. This is one of the Helicon Tex ones. Um, but this whole back panel has their modular hook and loop in there so it can be used in one of two ways and that goes all the way down to the bottom um, so you can use this um, because it has the laser cut um, pals loops into that so you can attach something to here that you can put your hand in and you can get whatever it is that you need to uh, 
I suppose really I'm kind of addressing your CCW kind of guys because I know there's there's people out there that this is definitely useful for that. Uh, but if you want to attach something like I had there, obviously here in the UK we, we certainly can't CCW. Um, but with this being hook and loop at the back, it allows you to attach different organisation systems and that sort of stuff as well. And that goes all the way down, and it, and it is it is large. See, I'm hold, holding that there. Um, there's definitely a lot that you can fit into this above and beyond as I say you know those those normal type of bags that I, that I generally go for also on the front side here there is another zip pocket which again goes all the way down to the bottom now you do have a lot of additional extra storage within these bags as far as organizations concerned you have this organization in this front panel um, but the main organization is is for you to kind of tailor to your own needs depending on how you would use this bag. Something that a lot of companies are starting to do now. I think some of us, it's, well there's, there's certainly some people out there that are just a little, oh well, so I've got to buy a bag and then I've got to buy something else to organise. But I think we've got to a point now, especially over the last four or five years, there's a lot more of these accessories like I just pointed to with the Helicon Tex one out there and they're, they're even being included with other bags so they're all completely interchangeable and you can you can move them around. Then at the top there is a little grab handle which is you know it's great if you want to have this so this is your ride with me style kind of bag you do or die. Um, you can you can grab it you can get out of your car you can do whatever it is that you need to. I think it's a little bit thin, it's probably uh, 15 millimeter, um, maybe 20 millimeter webbing that's then folded over so that you get, you know, you can, you can grab it. But again, you know, it's, this is, it's, it's only a six liter bag, so you're not gonna have too much in there or be carrying it around a lot like that. It's just to, to grab and go. Lastly, on the back here, there is another, <laughs> large zip pocket which again goes all the way down to the bottom into those seams so for me uh, I have my mobile phone in there mainly because with this being here at the back all of the front pockets unless you unless maybe you tied these together but all of the front pockets um, are easy access there are no uh, eye closures on there to stop people from getting their hands into it so you tend to find a lot of these style bags, you get this um, concealed pocket here at the back so that you can put valuables into those to make sure that um, yeah, people don't, don't steal those. I mention this a lot in these, but situational awareness is possibly the most important thing about making sure that your stuff doesn't get took from you. Keep your eye on who is around you, how close they are to you, why they need to be there. Um, but these back pockets are certainly very good to uh, to stop people from from getting your uh, getting your stuff. The last little bit really is, is so you've got Velcro section here. So again, depending on how you want to uh, how you want to have this, you can pass a belt through this, or if you're wearing it, you can put it onto your belt uh, without having to take your belt off, which. It's not a feature that I've used, however, you know, it, it, it's there. So if you do choose to use that feature, you know, you, you, you certainly can do. I guess as well, if you wanted to, you could pass, um, you, you, could, uh, you could attach this to a larger belt system so that you maybe you'd want it to have it here on the back so that you could, if again, you know, you wanted a, something that you could grab, attach a belt, put it on, do what you need to do, then this would always stay attached to that belt. Um, and then, although I said the and the last little bit uh, several times now, um, you have uh, the strap. The strap, I've got to say, I love my Tasmanian Tiger, but I feel it's just it's just a 25 millimeter webbing. I know Tasmanian Tiger. I've got a lot of two inch webbing, and it's a shame that they just went for the the uh, the, the 25 millimeter webbing. However. You know, this can be removed, it can, if you have um, another webbing. If you have another one, 
then you can easily put on your favourite strap from another bag, um, <laughs> uh, and you can you can swap that up to make it the bag that that you want. But yeah, like, as I say, it comes with a 25 millimeter one. But really, because you can put an extra little bit more into here, I think if you've got a spare 50 millimeter one, then yeah, definitely change it for that. I did want to show you a bit of a size comparison as well. So sat behind me, I, ha I do have the one bag from uh, from Eastpac. So putting these next to each other, if I put them down in the corner here, you can see the size difference between the two. Harp on a lot about this bag, a lot. It's an awesome bag to put your essentials in. And also, you can wear it easily underneath a jacket. You can put your essentials plus some more into this. It's a little bit tougher to be able to conceal underneath the jacket, but I think with the additional things that you can get into this, it certainly trumps the one bag just because you can put just that extra little bit more into there if you're going on a, a, on a longer city break. Now I've definitely said on many, many, many occasions that these crossbody style bags are just, they're worth their weight in gold, they really are. Um, we recently looked at the Hex Ranger. I'm a huge fan of the um, the East Pack, the One Bag. Um, but the major difference between those style bags and this one is it's just a little bit larger. So the additional space that you can get in here means that you can just carry your essentials plus some. Um, and I think in a world where a lot of our pockets are getting more and more and more and more full because the amount of cool things that there are out there to fill our pockets with, to be able to take some of that out and put it into a larger bag like this is perfect. Um, it's also really good as a grab bag. You can have this in the back of your truck or your car, um, rip it out, do whatever it is that you need to do and then, you know, back to life as normal. Um, now, as usually, huge thank you to Tasmanian Tiger for sending this my way. Um, I'm a Tasmanian Tiger ambassador here in the UK, and I do have a discount code, which is more EDC. Um, at the moment, there is an issue with the website, so they're just trying to sort that out. Uh, but when the website's back up and running, so I, I wouldn't certainly test it now, although you might be looking at this in the future, which, test it now. I don't know. Um, but yes, if you use that more EDC, you'll be able to get 10% discount off your um, off everything that's in your basket. Um, but as I say, I just double check because they're, they're just in the process uh, of making some alterations and changing around the website. Um, so it's you can't order specifically directly from them at this moment in time. But yeah, just I'd say just keep just keep checking that, and there's a discount code there if you need it. Um, I'll leave all of their links in the description below. I'll leave some of my social media links in the description below. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.